Hey, this is Brian Crescenti. I'm the news editor of Polygon. I'm here at the W Hotel during GDC. We're here with Marcus Pachon, who is the founder and game designer at Minecraft. I mean, at Mojang, sorry. Yeah. You are also at Minecraft. That's, That's how most true. people know you, Minecraft. Yeah. So Minecraft is, I think, the latest numbers, well, I don't know exactly, but it's approaching 25 million between all the platforms. Does that sound Yeah, yeah, right? something like that, yeah. That's a lot of people. It is lots, yeah. Do you ever sit back like, have you had, you must have already had the moment where you're like, man, lots of people are playing my game. Yeah, it kind of goes in waves. Because uh, it's like, it's your job to go to work and then after a while you kind of forget about it. But then someone mentions something or something that puts it in perspective right. and just go, whoa, really? Do you play the game still? No, not really. Really? No, I think I played it far too many, like hundreds of hours. <laughs> do you realize how much you would freak someone out if you showed up like on a server somewhere? You should do that, just to freak people yeah, out. I, I did it before a couple of times, and these days people never believe me. Because <laughs> it's, uh, I think uh, in some servers they kind of let people come in with any name and the people kind of fake their names because they don't have like the oh, secure okay. login on. Uh, so I always get accused of being fake. Is there any reluctance in your company to keep like releasing Minecraft to different platforms? Like, do you feel like okay, these are the platforms we've released to, we don't want to do more, or do you have you not really decided either way? Uh, well, with, with the console versions, uh, like we do the um, iOS and Android version in house, right. so there we don't we can, what, kind of want to do more. But for the Xbox version, we have a, a team that does it for us. It's 4J Studios. Right. So uh, I don't know. Think they might ever do a different console version? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, other console, obviously. Yeah. Um, Nothing, I, I'm allowed to comment on. I'm not even you, allowed. You can. To, you're allowed to comment on anything. I'm not even allowed to comment on me not being allowed to comment on it. <laughs> so um, you're working now on a game I can't pronounce. Yeah. How do you how do you pronounce the game that you're working on? Uh, it, I pronounce it uh, "Tempt to the Sea," but it's actually just a number written in a kind of a weird hexadecimal system. What, how would you how would you describe that game? Oh, it's some kind of space adventure first person you're running around and trying to keep your ship whole. Is it, uh, do you feel like it's a Minecraft-esque at all? To a small degree in the sense that like the stuff that happens to you is randomly generated. You can modify your own ship. You have very much control of how it actually works. Right. So the idea is that everything in the ship is actually like real to some sense. And the idea with Intent to the Sea was to have enough components going on so you can kind of, if you want to make like you know, a paintball mod, instead of doing that, you just set up the components in, in your spaceship and just write the code inside the game for actually. So a little holodeck in your spaceship. Yeah. So you would actually like program that inside the game. Uh, no sort of time frame for that that's a ways off, I assume? No, it's it's ways off. You think you'll, you're you going to still follow the same approach as Minecraft in terms of alpha first, you think, and get it out there? Yeah, that's the, that's the idea there. I don't know if we need to expand the team a bit to make sure the game actually gets made. So I don't know what the time frame is at all, but the idea is to release it very early. Do you, I mean, is there a chance that it won't come out, or are you definitely releasing it? It depends. If, we, if it's just going to be me and I'm going to still feel the kind of weird pressure, it's not really pressure, it's just some kind of weird creative block that's been going on for too long, then it's going to be put on ice until we can fix that. Uh, I'm very excited about the actual game, and, uh, and it, it's not really fun yet, but it feels like it could be fun, because it, there's nothing to do with it. Right. Like, I can shoot. Pro probably an important thing, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to need a lot of content.